It was a winter that wasn't in New Brunswick. Jeffrey Downey from NBEMO says the province only has about 20 to 25 percent of its snowpack compared to the 40-year average for this time of year, and that goes for the snow water equivalent as well. Still, officials continue to monitor the spring melt through the River Watch program, with its website up and running with five-day river forecasts showing what level each community is at. I know a lot of people might be looking out their windows and seeing uh, far less snow than they typically do at this time of year and thinking flooding's not possible. Possible. There's still a lot of snow in the north. It's going to melt at some point. Over the past two springs here in New Brunswick, there really hasn't been all that much flooding. So Downey is concerned that people might become complacent, but you do need to remain on guard because all it takes is one major rain event and some high temperatures to melt the snow that is there. Even with less snow, if it all does melt at once and it's combined with a lot of rain, it certainly can lead to flooding. He says if your property typically floods, now is the time to look at things in the backyard you didn't clean up up in the fall like lawn furniture or children's toys, any sort of item that could be carried away in floodwaters. You also want to make sure your gutters aren't clogged and downspouts are carrying water away from your property. You should check storm drains around your home to ensure the water has some place to go that's not your basement. At this time of year, riverbanks have been weakened by the snow and there is still debris and ice moving quickly through the river, so it's still not a good time to test out canoes and kayaks.